Lauren Bacall, the wonderful, wonderful, glamorous lady of the screen, a star, was doing yet another musical on Broadway called Woman of the Year. <clears throat> and because of our friendship from appearing together and applause on Broadway, I was invited to the opening night. At the time, I was in 42nd Street. And Carol Cook, who was also in 42nd Street, was my best buddy. And she knew I was going to the opening night of Woman of the Year. And she said, I was with my dear friend, Ethel Merman, the great Ethel Merman, the reigning queen of Broadway forever. She will always be the reigning queen of Broadway. Carol Cook said, Ethel would like to go to the opening night. Do you think that you could get two more tickets and we could go and be your and Bob's date? I said, oh, I'm sure if I say Ethel Merman wants to come to an opening night. You think I cannot get the tickets? Please. So I called the press office. Of course, Ethel Merman coming to the opening night. Whoa, 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 whoa. Of course we got tickets. Probably got better tickets that she was going to be with us. Well, that was back before cell phones. So we were going to go over in the limousine, rented the hottest day in August. That, the hottest day in August. The show was opening that night at 7 o'clock. So we were going to go over, pick up Carol in the limousine on the west side, drive over to the east side to pick up Ethel at her place, have a drink at Ethel's apartment before the show, and then go see the show. We started out at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And of course, we can't go any place because of the traffic, and you can't go through the park because it's all blocked off. It was the Puerto Rican Day Parade, so everything was blocked off. The traffic was horrendous. By the time we got Carol, we couldn't go across. We had to go up to 125th Street, cross over above the park, come down. We couldn't get over to Madison Avenue where Ethel was because they had everything blocked off from Park Avenue. So the limousine had to park at uh, Park Avenue. It's now 6.30 on. It took us that long to get across town and do everything. So I get out of the limousine, I run to Ethel, and I ring to her, she said, don't say a word, honey, they've been beating those drums all morning, I'll be right down. And so down the stairs she came. We ran across on her high heels with this lime green dress she had on and her hair all done up, and again, the beaded lashes that she, I mean, the beaded uh, eyelashes that she did. We get into the car, we're late. We're rushing to try to get through the traffic to get down to the theater. We get to the theater about 10 after seven. There's not a car in front of the theater. There's no lights. There's no cameras, nothing. Everybody's inside the theater. So I thought, oh my God, the show has started. So we rush in. Of course, my armpits are soaked. We get into the theater. The overture starts as we're coming down the aisle. So we had, of course, fabulous seats, maybe six to eight rows back on the aisle. Bob goes in. Carol Cook goes in. Ethel goes in. I'm the last one. We sit down. So we're sitting there, and the curtain rises on the first number, and everybody's singing, and Lauren Bacall, in her inimitable style, with her singing voice, starts to sing and hits a note. I'm woman of the year, and Merman went, Jesus! True story. And uh, that, that story has been said many, many different ways of all the people who supposedly witnessed it. I witnessed it. I was there. I never cursed at all until I was around Lauren Bacall. Lauren Bacall made... You tell that motherfucking son of a bitch to... Well, she, boy, did she make it sound great. I thought, ooh, I wanted to be like that. I wanted to, you know, I learned to cuss from Lauren Bacall. Boy, could she do it.